Our study uncovers the mechanism underlying the development of psychotic symptoms in schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. For a long time, we've known about this neurochemical dopamine, which has an important role in causing psychosis. But what events in brain neurons cause abnormal dopamine signaling is really unknown. We found that in neurons of patients with psychosis, there's this excessive activation of a genome area that controls a key enzyme for the production of dopamine, tyrosine hydroxylase. In neurons of patients with psychosis, we found that in this area in the genome was epigenetically more active than normal. Epigenetic marks sit on top of the DNA code and control whether genes are turned on or off. This area that we found to be different in psychotic patients was a gene modifier that controlled the dopamine production enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase, but not only that, also impacted the activity of another gene called IGF-2. IGF-2 is important for neuronal structure and the organization of synapses and cognitive functions in the brain. Our study suggests that activation of, the re of this region could simultaneously cause too much dopamine activity while limiting the function of a gene important for synaptic structure. This mechanism could explain why individuals that develop psychosis also simultaneously show a loss in synaptic structure. One of the things that we're most excited about this study is that we're understanding what causes psych psychotic symptoms in patients with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. And we've known for a very long time that dopamine dysregulation is key to these psychotic features, but we really didn't understand how. This study now sheds light on how that dopamine signaling can uh, go awry and the mechanisms by which that occurs.